It's a little before 8 a.m. on September 16th, 2020. It's 45 degrees in Williamstown. In a few minutes, several members of the Williams College women's and men's swimming and diving team, men's soccer, and Nordic skiing will enter this gate. Due to the pandemic, the indoor facilities at Williams College are closed at least through December. Once through the gate, the athletes will turn left and go through the gate of Farley Lamb Field and head across the field to the Williams Sports Performance Tent, where they will be greeted by head strength and conditioning coach Rob Livingstone and his staff for a morning workout session. Um, welcome to day two. Right, let's go. It, it went how we drew it up. Um, when we started, you know, kind of thinking through this process, I mean, four months ago, um, you know, we put together a vision as to what it would look like and kind of how it would come together when it comes to the flow of the room, the equipment needed, um, how the athletes would respond and kind of navigate the new environment. And, you know, after Monday, I mean, Monday's first group of the day, first group of this year, school year, went exactly how I would want it to go. I'd, I'd like to really thank our athletic department and as well as our institution um, to, to, you know, for allowing us to and putting us in a position that we're in right now with this, you know, amazing outdoor training facility that the, the student athletes have been um, very grateful for, um, you know, through numerous conversations over the last couple of days. Yeah, I think Coach Livingstone and his staff have done a really good job setting this up. Um, I know that a lot of work has gone into it, but um, we're figuring out all the kinks here and there and setup is going really well. Um, I know my kids were really excited to get in the tent and uh, we're excited to do some, do some really hard work here. This year it's a little different as the aquatic facilities and indoor facilities are closed and we've had to come outside for lifting. Um, I think we were all a little apprehensive and anxious about what that was going to be like and how it was going to go and if it was even possible to still kind of have a season and team culture and camaraderie. And I think that so far, at least for me, it's definitely surpassed my expectations. This year has been very different considering we can't be in the pool yet. Normally we'd be doing full practices together, um, getting to know the freshmen, um, enjoying everyone's company, getting back together, being in the weight room together. But uh, we're all very thankful to be here and we're very, we feel very blessed to have an opportunity to be on campus and work out as a team and have some sort of structure um, because that's not a given at other schools. So I'm very thankful for that. So when it comes to the um, 2021 and, and what our plans are, um, you know, we'll, we'll reevaluate. Um, after Thanksgiving, we'll come together as a department and, and really as an institution to figure out kind of what the next step is. Our plans are to work out outside, um, enjoy the beautiful fall weather that we have here in the Berkshires, uh, really take advantage of that, and then hope to be in the pool at some point um, later on this year. That we would look at um, either finding indoor spaces that would work or I mean I'm open to continuing to use a tent similar to this and putting uh, putting heaters in it and, and I think that is something that with that um, I think it's possible to make it work I'm not sure if it's super realistic but I mean that's I'm hopeful.